It's about that time of day again here, folks. Welcome to the newsletter, boys and girls. My name is Joseph James. It is Wednesday evening, March 25th, 2015. A very wacky Wednesday in the markets. We get an exciting newsletter in store for you guys and gals. In tonight's newsletter, crude oil is bullish. Volume confirmed the new highs today, so we stick to the buy side on the black gold, but stay patient because we expect a deeper correction to buy because we see an undershoot of the channel highs. We get a target at $50 a barrel on crude right now. It's almost inevitable. Now it's just being patient to wait for the best buying opportunities. Stay tuned for more on crude oil as we go through our newsletter. How about gold? The yellow metal, also bullish. Volume also confirmed today's new highs on gold, and we will continue to buy pullbacks at support levels on our way up to that $1,200 per ounce target. We just barely missed the 1,200 target today, so we're looking for a slightly bigger correction due to those weakness from the buyers, so stay tuned for more on gold. How about the Russell? Boy, how about the Russell? I don't think anybody saw that big collapse coming in. Blame it on profit-taking. Blame it on the durable goods orders. It doesn't matter why it happened, but the Russell is bearish this evening after a massive collapse today, down almost 4%. Now, we used the range and the expansion of the range to find some very critical support levels at these lows. We're going to expect some profit-taking here at this low, some bargain hunting, before we get back into that range. Got a very important set of charts on the Russell here this evening. If you're trading the Russell, you've got to make sure you're paying attention. As you can see... We have a jam-packed newsletter in store for you guys and gals this evening. Before we begin, though, I want to remind you to make sure you're watching this video on our trading blog over here at SidewaysMarkets.com. There are three reasons why you've got to make sure you're over here watching the blog video because you can download my charts right below the video tonight. There's a link right below the video. You can download all of my charts. Every chart I'm going to use tonight, as well as some bonus charts, you can download those and have those ready for you to use anytime you need in tonight or tomorrow's session. Second thing is free pass. We get a free pass for you to come out and test drive our live trade room. If you're not a member of School of Trade and you're wondering what does it feel like to be a member? What does it feel like to be in our live trade room? How do we use these newsletter charts every single day in our trade room? I'd love to show you. Come out and join our free pass, upper left-hand corner. And of course, last but not least, there were three reasons why you should watch this video on our blog right now. The third reason is the nightly newsletter mailing list. That's right. All I need is your name and your email address, and I'm going to send you an email every evening with details about my newsletter. That way you never have to worry about missing another report ever again. All right, guys. Now, if you grab the free pass, if you register for the newsletter, just be aware I am going to send you a verification email. So make sure you check your inbox, outbox, spam folders, junk folders, whatever folders you got out there. Be aware, I will be sending you a verification email to make sure I have the right email address and so you can give me approval to keep sending me emails in the future. All right, guys, let's get started. Busy, busy day today. Russell collapses, crude pushes higher, gold pushes higher. The only thing I didn't see coming was this collapse on the Russell. It just completely fell out of bed. We looked for buying opportunities on the way down here today, but we never saw any good triggers that just kept on falling. One of the big reasons why always use stops and never try to predict, right? It was a, today was a great example in the Russell. If you look back at the chart from yesterday's newsletter, you'll notice at each of the levels, we never got the buy trigger, right? I mean, look at this. Where would you have bought? It just tumbled, right? Just completely tumbled. So, Again, reinforcing that idea that as professionals, we anticipate, but we always wait for proof. We're not just blindly buying and selling out there. And again, don't forget, you don't have to do this alone. Come on and see me tomorrow morning in the trade room, and I'll walk you right through how we do all of this stuff in real time. Now, how about this Russell? Well, we get a little bit of a conundrum here now, right? Bit of a challenge. Big drops often equal big pops. So big down day. And what I always say is, is anybody can put together a one day rally or a one day collapse. The key though is, is can we hold it in this case on the retrace off that low? And that's really what the most important thing is right now about this Russell and most of the other E-minis right now. We got this big down move today. 
And if you're wondering, why did we choose the 1230 area to stop? Well, remember, this trading range we've been watching here for a few days now, this trading range here gave us the range expansion target that we used earlier this week and late last week, and it can also be used below it, right? And you'll notice, look where we end up, right? So trading range expansion pushes to the upside up to 1262.9 and then all the way back down. So what it tells me is, is that we should really be keeping an eye on this range right here because clearly the market, for whatever reason, sees value in this trading range right now. What that also tells me, though, is, is that we're probably going to keep targeting this main range, right? So this main trading range will most likely be on the radar here right now. So now that you see kind of the range and how I find these levels above and below, we have to remember big drops often equal big pops. But again, this big downtrend here, we expect there now to be a correction back most likely to the lows of this trading range right around 1242. And this is the battle zone right there. That is the battle zone in my opinion. Because what's likely to happen is we're likely to go up and then continue this move lower if we get the sellers to engage here. Now, this may just be a knee-jerk reaction to some rumor mills being spread around the internets, right, around the markets. This happens sometimes. Sometimes we get some news that shakes things up. You get some speakers on television. Everybody gets all kooky and things just take off to one side or the other. I don't quite... I almost don't feel confident saying we're bearish right now just because this could easily go all the way back up. What I know is this. I know for sure, though, that this area right here is going to be the battle zone. Most likely, we'll see some bargain hunting. Most likely, there were some traders who got short that will take their profit, and this price will move higher back, most likely up to that 1242 even. We'll keep an eye on these smaller levels here as you can see, we got some reversal lines, some swing lines here at 35.5 and 38.7. But again, I would expect here, short term, you're going to have a shot at buying this sucker back up to that 1242. But then we're going to have to really be patient and look for some more proof. And here's what we're looking for. We're really looking for at this point, if I want to be a buyer, I'm looking for the sellers to fail so I can buy ultimately back into that low of that range and then we should go pretty quickly up to that 1252. I, I don't think we're going to go all the way back up to the high again tomorrow. But hey, target up top here at 57.3, right, if we do. So most likely we're going up. Most likely we'll see sellers here try to sell it. And that's where we're going to be looking for those sellers to fail. If the sellers fail, we know we got those buyers. They're going to jump all over it. And we're most likely going to go from the bottom of that range all the way to the top of that range. If we do not see those sellers fail, though, right, we'll be looking for this to get short right here and, of course, look for measured moves, right, for your targets on the way down. Very difficult here to give you some expectations for tomorrow because with such a dramatic move here in just a small period of time, it wasn't – it didn't take very long. It pretty much just sat here this afternoon, just tumbled here on relatively low volume. So it's difficult for me to give you much guidance other than I can – I don't want to say the word guarantee here, but it's very, very likely here overnight that we get right up to these lows of this range. And then that's where tomorrow morning, right about 9.30, between 9.30 and 10 o'clock, that's where we're going to have to be watching very closely to see what is the market personality. Are the bears continuing to sell? If we see that sell pressure come back in, we'll most likely retest those lows. If the buyers, though, step in, you're going to see it come right up to that range high very, very quickly. And if I had to guess right now, I would guess we end up rattling around back inside this range tomorrow. If I had to guess, and again, don't, don't, don't guess your way into trades here. Wait for proof. But I would imagine we come up a little bear trap here, and then back inside that range for tomorrow. I will be watching this very, very closely tomorrow morning in this Russell. Again, huge drop really makes it difficult here to understand 
you know, because there's not much rationale behind this drop. So you know there's going to be the same irrational type of trading will be involved tomorrow morning. Be careful in this Russell tomorrow. Again, watch out for that battle zone around that 1242 area. And come out and see me tomorrow in the trade room, and I'll walk you right through what we're seeing in real time. We really got to be patient tomorrow and see who really sinks their teeth in this thing tomorrow on the Russell. How about the gold? The yellow metal. Now, back to a market that made sense today, right? I don't know what the heck happened on that Russell. And, and again, that's why you just, you don't guess, you wait for proof. Now here in the gold, we're very, very confident we know what's happening on gold right now. Gold's been bullish. Hey, boy, it's, it's been bullish for quite a while now here. And we've been buying the dips, buying the pullbacks. We used that trading range very effectively today to make sure that we didn't get trapped on the wrong side of the market. Gold is bullish. Volume confirmed today's new highs. And we will continue to buy pullbacks, buy at support levels, and of course, our target is up at that 1,200 big round number. Now, we had a couple things here that we're looking for, right? So we get the target and this measured move up at 1,200. But look, what happened? We get, we get really close right up to the high of that channel. Volume did confirm, so there wasn't any problem with the buyers being involved, but apparently they just didn't have enough gas in the tank right, to be able to push it up to 1,200. That's a really big clue. When we get that close to big round numbers like that, you would, you would assume they're going to find a way to get up and test that level, but we didn't. That tells me right now, probably going to be looking for a little bit of a correction here before we make our move back higher. Keeping an eye now on these buy zones below us, and we'll be watching for that correction to occur so we can get back in again and look for additional buying opportunities up to our 1200. I don't think we're going to go much further past 1200, but you'll notice though, I do have targets waiting for us here overhead, so keep an eye on those. But again, I would expect we may overshoot 1200 a little bit to hit the top of that channel, look for the range expansion target. Look for the measured move in 1,200 target again, but stay patient here on the gold. Now, let's zoom in on this on this range a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit closer on this range. This range is of the utmost importance to us right now. It's been, it's been very important for us all week here this week. Here's a price action chart. You'll notice we're now we're zoomed way in now on this chart. Gold price action, again, we're, we're not debating whether or not we're bullish, but we now see some big clues here. You'll notice we have an overshoot of the high. That tells us to expect the price to overcorrect. We also see here, too, we already got the breakout pullback, right? We got the breakout pullback, which is exactly what we told you guys last night to look for. We were gunning for 1,200, taken out of the trailer, but we know that we've already got one attempt for the breakout pullback, two attempts for the breakout pullback. I don't think this third attempt is going to be the one that goes. So I would be looking for this to be a bull trap right here. You would probably expect to see buyers here try one more time, and when they fail, that's exactly where we're looking to sell short here, back below that 94.1. If you look to sell it above the 94.1, just be aware, you got to take that 94.1 as a support level for some profit. So remember, the first time we break out and pull back, the first time we test that high, that's the one you want, right? Right up here, break out, pull back, green candle, all we need there, that's the one you want. We come up, pull back, first try, success, second try, lower highs, right? Third try, no thanks, no thanks. So look out for a bull trap here at these highs at 94.1, and remember, that's where we make the easy money. Wait for those buyers to try. Think about where their stops are going to be. It'll be below that high, 94.1. And once we roll over, you got those buyers beat. And the sellers now can come in and sell right back into this range. Remember, markets like to go from top to bottom, top to bottom. So once we slip back into this range below that bull trap, we shouldn't have any problem getting down to that channel lows, possibly all the way down to the lows of that range again. So we got a couple clues here. The overshoot of that channel. And, and again, the lack of buy pressure up to 1,200. How do we not make the 1,200? That should be a big, big clue for us going into tomorrow's session. All of these clues tell us 
to expect a deeper pullback. We're definitely not bearish just yet. So remember, if you're selling short, you're counter trend right now. So keep it close to the vest, right? Keep the stop tight. Take the profit quickly. Trail that stop. Don't get greedy trying to counter trend trade right now. Wait patiently because after we get that correction, that's when you're going to start seeing the best buying opportunities here. Buying the low of that channel, buying the low of that range, buying the, I don't think we're going to get this far tomorrow, but possibly on Friday or next Monday, right? We get down around those range expansion support levels. We're still bullish here on gold, but we know we're most likely going to see a deeper pullback. So stay patient to be a buyer here on gold for tomorrow. And then last but not least here, wrapping up on the crude oil, wrapping up on the crude. Crude oil also very bullish. We stroked this thing last night, right? Obviously nailed this thing right on the noggin. It was an easy one for us too. It was got that trading range, breakout pullback. It was very, very easy. If you look back at last night's newsletter, had a great day in the markets on crude today. Uh, really, really seeing a lot of bulls in the market right now. And it's pretty evident, like I said on Monday, it's no no guarantees in this world, but it's all it's almost a guarantee we're going to 50. It's very, very obvious. Got a bearish report today uh, from the Emator report. That didn't do anything to it. We kept on seeing the buyers just, just overwhelming the sellers today. It was very, very obvious to see what's happened. The bulls have it. They bulls have it pegged here at 50, and so we expect to see it go higher here. Now, a couple things on this chart. We're definitely bullish. Volume did confirm the highs today, so we're going to stick to the buy side. We have no reason to think bears right now, but stay patient because we expect a deeper correction because we see that undershoot, right? We got the undershoot of the highs, so we draw the channel up undershoot of those highs the undershoot tells me to expect a bigger correction and look where that bigger correction will likely put us got a lot of support down here got a lot of support hanging out here around that 47 half and that would be where we're looking for that undershoot to correct to that 47 half to 47 28 if you're a seller right now you can be aggressive and be a seller but just like i said on gold if you're a seller right now take your profit quickly you're not going to get a lot of room for it before those buyers take this thing back higher again. You can see, though, we do have some room here to be a seller. But again, just don't get too greedy. Take your profit quick. Keep the stop small. Don't risk too much. Save those bullets because once we get down to this low, we're looking for those buying opportunities once again. Okay? Target at 50. And as we go lower, we're looking for buys, buys, and buys as we go lower. And again, I would expect this area right here that 47 to 48 area to be your sweet spot for the next good buying opportunities here on the black gold. Moving forward here to our price action chart of crude oil, and we see a lot more of the same stuff here right now. We kind of see a lot more of the same stuff. Crude oil price action is clearly bullish. We're coming off the channel highs. We get a measured move on it. If you look at this most recent move here, measured move, right, pretty much the tick. That tells us we're likely going to correct. We're likely going to pull back here before we go higher, right? There'll be some profit taking. There'll be some bargain hunting from the sellers at these highs. So definitely expect price to pull back to the lows of the channel and look for buying opportunities at support levels. I, again, I'm expecting a little bit deeper pullback here. I've got, the, I got my eyes on this 48.44 to 48.24. And then here's that 47.50 area to 48. So look for buying opportunities at the 48.44 and if we do head lower here right this is that 47.50 area we were talking about on the anchor chart there's another deep pullback to look for there so look to take a nibble at 48.50 and then again at 47.50 here we're going to have to stay patient and we'll see where this puts us tomorrow morning right after we watch this correction overnight all right, guys, I want to thank you so much for being a part of the newsletter today. We're buying crude, buying gold, and again, careful on this Russell tomorrow. We see this just huge collapse on the Russell. Come out and see me tomorrow morning, and we'll walk you through that in real time. Guys and gals, don't forget, before we wrap up today, I want to remind you all, download those charts for today. Grab your free pass. Come out and trade with me tomorrow in the trade room. And, of course, join our newsletter mailing list Give me your name and your email address, and I'll send you an email every time we post a newsletter. Also, before we let you guys go, don't forget, we get a great free trial here at schooltrade.com. 
you're going to learn more in one week with me at School of Trade and our trial than you will anywhere else on the webs. I'll tell you that much right now. We offer three levels of membership, beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and we always have someone standing by 24-7, 365 to answer any questions you may have about becoming a brand new student. All right, guys? Stick to the right side of the market. Be well. Be nice to each other. Shall we do it again tomorrow? Same time, same place. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Don't forget, Trade Room opens up at 8 a.m. We'll see you guys there for real-time trade calls, and I'll see you back here once again, same time, same place. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye for now.